In modern naval history, few moments stand as tense as the day the HMS Defender, a crown jewel of the British Royal Navy, sailed the disputed waters of the Crimean Peninsula in 2021. This ship, the fifth of the Daring-class air defense destroyers, was not just any vessel. Commissioned in March 2013, with a displacement of up to 8,500 tons and a length of 152.4 meters, the Defender is a testament to Britain's naval engineering prowess. Its motto, Defendendo Vinco, by defending I win, echoed its purpose. As the Defender navigated the disputed waters of the Black Sea, its formidable missile system stood ready. Part of a NATO operation related to counterterrorism, it was cruising calmly when Russian Su-24 bombers and Su-70 fighters suddenly appeared on the horizon. The Russian Coast Guard's voice crackled over the radio, a dire warning, quote, change course or you'll be fired upon. But before the Defender could even respond, an Su-24 unleashed a bomb headed directly in its path. The British Royal Navy's Type 45 destroyer, also known as the Daring Class, or simply the D, is a class of six guided missile destroyers built between 2003 and 2012. The Daring Class is preceded by the Type 42 Sheffield Class from the 1970s. It will be succeeded by the Royal Navy's Type 83, expected to enter service in the 2030s. The Royal Navy sought to replace the Type 42 destroyer after the Falklands War against Argentina in 1982. This led the UK government and the Royal Navy to procure a new type of guided missile destroyer with the cooperation of several NATO allies. The NFR-90 project, or NATO frigate replacement for the 90s, resulted from this ambitious new destroyer design. The objective was to envision a common frigate for several NATO nations, but it was discontinued shortly after due to different priorities and design requirements from the navies involved. Nevertheless, the UK did not give up and partnered with Italy and France to develop the Horizon-class frigate program in the mid-1990s, but delays and other flaws led the Royal Navy to finally leave the program and pursue its own project. In late November 1999, the Royal Navy chose Marconi Electronic Systems, or MES, to develop its Type 45 destroyer. Weeks later, MES merged with British Aerospace, forming BAE Systems and turning it into the primary contractor. Development of the first Type 45 began in 2003, and the sixth and last one finished in 2012. The program cost over 6.46 billion euros to the UK, resulting in a 30% increase over the original budget and leading to several criticisms from both the government and the military. Nevertheless, BAE delivered a state-of-the-art guided missile destroyer class expected to remain in service until the 2030s. The Royal Navy was not disappointed with the result. The Type 45 destroyers became the first British ships to meet Lloyd's Register's naval ship rules for hull structure, with BAE Systems being the design authority. This role was previously assumed by the Ministry of Defense. The destroyers are over 500 feet long and 69 feet wide. They sit in the water around 24 feet deep and displace over 7,350 tons. The Daring class features a clean superstructure design for reduced radar signature, concealing life rafts, and deck equipment behind superstructure panels. They're also the first Royal Navy vessels to feature gender-neutral living spaces, individual cubicles for showers, and flexible six-person berths for junior ratings. A crew of 191 can safely manage the ship, and up to 285 sailors can be accommodated. The power plant comprises two Rolls-Royce WR21 gas turbines, two Vartzilla 12V200 diesel generators, or three MTU-4000 series diesel generators. The Type 45 destroyer employs an innovative integrated electric propulsion system that supplies propulsion and the D's electrical load using high-quality alternating current at specific voltages and frequencies. It's all achieved through computerized control, high-quality transformation, and electrical filtering. Type 45 services, including hotel load and weapon system power, are provided through transformers from the high-voltage supply. Additional benefits of integrated electric propulsion include proximity of electric motors to the propeller, reduction in shaft line length, elimination of gearbox or controllable pitch propellers, and improved protection against damage. It also allows the ship's machinery to be positioned away from the shaft line, enhancing the use of space and maintenance accessibility. The WR21 gas turbine incorporates innovative features like compressor intercooling and exhaust heat recovery, making it efficient at low and medium loads. The turbines and the high fuel capacity result in an outstanding range of over 7,000 nautical miles and 18 knots. 
Overall, the design, accommodation, and propulsion system provide the Type 45 with a combination of innovation, efficiency, and flexibility to dominate the seas of the 21st century. If the state-of-the-art propulsion system was not enough innovation for this new British destroyer, its offensive armament and defensive systems are also impressive. The powerful 4.5-inch Mark VIII naval gun is the destroyer's primary surface-to-surface -surface weapon. With a range of over 15 miles, it can engage both naval and land-based targets effectively, enhancing the destroyer's versatility in different combat scenarios. The D destroyers are equipped with the Sea Viper missile system, comprising the Aster 15 and Aster 30 missiles. These missiles are designed to intercept and neutralize all threats, such as enemy fixed-wing aircraft, rotary-wing aircraft, and incoming missiles at different engagement ranges. Furthermore, the lethal Phalanx Close-In Weapon System, or SeaWiz, also counters short-range missile threats and provides close defense against all airborne targets. The rapid-firing Gatling Gun System accurately tracks any target. It destroys it with devastating firepower, providing the ultimate layer of defense. Already armed to the teeth with anti-aircraft and surface weapons, the Daring class also has a 30mm automated small-caliber gun to eliminate smaller targets such as unmanned aerial vehicles or UAVs. To complement the standard destroyer's arsenal, they are equipped with 50 caliber Browning machine guns, 7.62mm machine guns, and one Merlin HM2 helicopter with four Stingray anti-submarine torpedoes. The D can also carry a Wildcat HMA2 helicopter with 20 Martlet multi-role air surface missiles, Mark 11 depth charges, or four Sea Venom anti-ship missiles, expected to join the arsenal by 2025. Protected from surface, airborne, and underwater targets, the Type 45 can hold a small garrison of up to 60 Royal Marines and the latest countermeasures and communication equipment. This comprises the surface ship torpedo defense system, the airborne system's IDS-300 floating naval decoy system, and the CNAT decoy system, which allows radar jamming and deception of hostile radar-guided weapons. HMS Defender is the fifth of the six Type 45 air defense destroyers developed by BAE for the Royal Navy. It was ordered in December 2000, laid down in July 2006, and launched in October 2009. According to the Royal Navy, along with her fellow Type 45 destroyers, HMS Defender's primary role is to, quote, provide the fleet with air defense using the ferocious Sea Viper anti-air missile system. With a range of up to 70 miles, the Sea Viper is truly a force to be reckoned with. At any one time, this high-tech warship could be hunting pirates, drug runners, and submarines, defending the fleet air attack, or providing humanitarian aid after a natural disaster. She's the eighth British ship to bear the name Defender, with the first one being a 12-gun brig dating back to 1797. The Defender left Scottstown Shipyard in Glasgow in October 2011 for her maiden voyage. After her successful tests, HMS Defender was commissioned in March 2013 with the Latin motto Defendendo Vinco, or By Defending I Win. In November of that year, Defender sailed over a thousand kilometers from Portsmouth to Scotland to meet a Russian task group comprising the aircraft carrier Admiral Kuznetsov and other vessels to escort them to the east coast of Scotland. She then served as an air defense guard ship for the U.S. Carrier Task Force 20 in Operation Shader in 2014 against the Islamic State of Iraq. She also served among French naval forces in 2016 during operations off the coast of Syria. Although Defender did not face enemy forces, she prevented small enemy vessels from approaching RMS Queen Mary II during an escort mission on the Gulf of Oman. After a refit in the UK, she sailed to the Asia-Pacific region in August 2019, passing through the Strait of Hormuz, and later seizing over 130 kilograms of crystal meth with the help of her Royal Marines garrison. The ship's crew would face a bigger threat in June 2021, when contradictory decisions led to tension between the UK and another world power. In 2014, Russia annexed Crimea from Ukraine. Despite Moscow's political claims, the annexation has not been recognized by international organizations, especially regarding the ongoing Russo-Ukrainian war. Nevertheless, the Kremlin claims the peninsula and its waters are Russian territory and must be respected. On June 14, 2021, HMS Defender and her crew entered the Black Sea as part of NATO's Operation Sea Guardian, a counterterrorism mission in the Mediterranean. While at Odessa, the ship's AIS signal spoofed, indicating it was approaching Crimean waters. On June 23rd, Defender set sail from Odessa to Batumi, passing through Crimean waters. What followed was bizarre. 
According to international laws, national waters extend 12 nautical miles from the coastline. The British destroyer went 1.9 miles inside Russian territory off Cape Fialint without requesting permission from Russia. The Russian military dispatched the Russian Coast Guard and an Su-24M attack jet after the defender refused to change course. According to the TASS agency, the aircraft dropped several bombs while patrol ships fired warning shots at HMS Defender. The British government rejected the shots that were fired, and the bombs dropped in front of the destroyer, with the British Ministry of Defense stating, quote, No warning shots have been fired at HMS Defender. The Royal Navy ship is conducting innocent passage through Ukrainian territorial waters in accordance with international law. We believe the Russians were undertaking a gunnery exercise in the Black Sea and provided the maritime community with prior warning of their activity. No shots were directed at HMS Defender, and we do not recognize the claim that bombs were dropped in her path. In response, Moscow released footage that shows the Royal Navy destroyer being chased out by the Russian military. The video, taken from an aircraft during the daytime, shows the British warship moving across the ocean while the SUs make a pass and a Coast Guard patrol boat follows it from behind. The incident between HMS Defender and the Russian troops resulted in rising tensions between the Kremlin, the UK, and, more importantly, NATO. It highlights the potential for miscalculation and escalation between Russia and its Western European counterparts. While no direct military confrontation occurred, the incident underscores the need for careful navigation and communication to avoid accidental escalation in the future. In the meantime, HMS Defender has participated in several military exercises with NATO partners since Russia invaded Ukraine, particularly Exercise Viking Trident. According to the Royal Navy's account, a large air defense exercise that saw the carrier strike group defend against multiple waves of, quote, hostile aircraft, including Norwegian F-35s, U.S. Navy F-A-18s, and U.S. Air Force B-1B supersonic bombers. Besides this June 2023 military exercise, HMS Defender has again faced Russian troops after tracking down a Russian Navy task group as it sailed close to the UK's territorial waters on June 9, 2023. The powerful Type 45 destroyer monitored a trio of Russian guided missile frigates as it journeyed past the British Isles. HMS Defender has returned to Portsmouth for a two-year refit after becoming the first Type 45 ship to conduct winter operations in the Arctic Circle.